Yo, what's going on? This is Don't Flop Berlin. Don't Flop all fucking day. Hashtag DFMD, you know the score. This is the main event we've had two so far. Shouts to Jolly J and Innuendo. This is the final English speaking battle of the card of the evening. It's our last battle that we are hosting as Don't Flop in Berlin tonight. Alright, main event shit. MC on my right hand side making his debut in Don't Flop. Make some noise for Jean Gaufray. Let's go! Yeah. on the English team that I'll be introducing for the entire event from London, the capital of the UK. You know the fucking name. Make some noise for Og Me Make sure you like on Leave your opinions on who you think won this another promo clash made event shit. Shouts to Don't Let The Label Label You for having us out. I'm sure we'll be back in the future. Final time on camera tonight. We flipped off camera. It's going to be Jean Gaufray, round number one. Let's go. This is Jean Gaufray. A remarkable gene, I'm the Mac of all trades and the master of cheese. Yeah. I'm gonna impart the mystery of what started the history between him and me. See, I first met him in Italy and I thought he was cool, if not quite as sick as me. See, me, Tangle, Flash, and Jolly J have an annual bash on holiday on Sicilian shores, thrilling chili and margaritas and Brazilian broads, mozzarella and fresh tomatoes, sample the best gelato, on Lake Garda with cargo on the classiest fastball. <laughs> we welcome Oprios aboard. We play table tennis, blazed. I thought this bread was safe. I thought this is the kind of guy I could be calling a mate. But then I discovered you have a secret, dude. You better reconsider who you leak your secrets to. Because the problem is now I've got beef with you, Ivan. And I didn't want to air it when I speak with you, Ivan. No more hiding, about to share it with these people here, Ivan. Because the truth runs deep when it sleeps with you, Ivan. Ogmios is vegan. Don't you know what that means? That means he doesn't like cheese. <laughs> And I'm about to get left. Because this fairy doesn't eat dairy. How <laughs> dare he? Do I think we could be friends now? Barely. I mean, what the fuck do you even eat, dude? You don't even eat beef, dude. I mean, does that mean I can't technically beef you? See, when I first heard about your condition, the first thing I thought was this. If you're vegan, then you can't even pork a chick. You can't beat your meat when you fill the horn. So what the vegans do instead? Cream your corn? <laughs> See, and your money situation must be funny or frustrating. How the hell do you make money if you can't bring home the bacon? <laughs> so you teach phys ed, but how do you expect your children to get hench, purely your mixed veg, or that maybe they'll grow up to be on a pro team? Child amateurs need fibers to grow like a pro team. Can't think of how hungry this guy gets. What does he digest if he doesn't eat fried flesh? Oh, so you don't want the beef, you fucking hungry runt? I'll fucking bring the beef, you fucking mung bean cunt. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Fibonacci, that's me, fuck a massacre. Abracadabra, these outcomes, that's my alchemy. I'm an abacus rapper, you can count on me. I'm that usual suspect in a rose gallery. This poetry rose from the ashes of your tragedy, called by Yashi. Mm. It's encoded in the rap sheets. Kovash at the coma, so now the facts speak, and they're certain. I'm the verbal Kaiser, so say those who see me in person. Yeah. You didn't earn this, so I'll earn it. When they call out my name, I burn them. But I ain't here to teach or preach a sermon. I'm here to finally use my GCSE German. <laughs> <laughs> Exams from the old days. But I never went on no exchange. Still, I've got top marks. Pound for pound, I've got the grade. But you never see Jean go for eight. 
Jean Bolt for A. A. Wait. Is that a bad bar? Sorry. It's too many light. If I said I'll bring my A game for you, then brother life. But don't be bitter. Cause you see in these is quicker. Cause even my level Z would kill ya. And shoulder can see fitter, but I don't see a spitter, I see a creepy hipster. Who speaks like a seedy vicar that wants to sleep with my sister. Mm. Man has no antidote known for your Barry Manilow flow. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again! I said man has no, no antidote known for your Barry Manilow flow. This man's whole style is a fiasco, but you don't rock the mic like Lupe, more like Mike Bublé. Mm. <laughs> you think you're pretty smooth, eh? You're just another hemp seed blended in my smoothie. <laughs> Let you lose face and talk you through your doomsday. That's how I soothsay. I'm smooth jazz. You don't get smoother than that. <laughs> I'm slick Rick on future rap, the ruler's back. I'm a beat Nick with a neat click. Coolest cat since Heathcliff. Mm. I'm on some deep trip. I see shit on a street tip, and you a straight Euro trash. You just pseudo wrapped your way to this loophole clash. Cause you know Jolly J, so I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> you had one hit on the box, now you think that's how it's always gonna play. You must really think you're the funs, eh? Mm. Hey. <laughs> More like Peter Andre. <laughs> Second attempt, you dug your grave, but it's beyond say what I'm beyond saying. It's the basis. I'll be on Jay, afraid. But if it's match up and messy, then it be on Jay. So be afraid. Time. How can you teach your children properly with two conflicting ideologies? You preach metaphysical meditation in a class on physical education. On sports day, imagine his irritation. He's doing some deep initiation, trying to teach Tai Chi for some spiritual awakening. But the only ties they need is for some three-legged racing. They're trying to make a spiritual contribution within an institution. The parents must be thinking, what a fucking nuisance. <laughs> See, even the hippie thing's a corporation in reality. Just another fashion with no individuality. You're not even doing the ethical thing because standardly, you'll be wearing whole outfits made in sweatshop batteries. You want to talk peace, but what really could you say to me? They hit them with sticks. Those innocent kids that were stitching your kicks, you're wearing some other children's slavery. Oh, and that's something Satan would blatantly pay to see. Kids made to do track and shit in their battery kits by a pacifist. What a pack of shit. And it doesn't even look good. What kind of sweatshops are clothing it? And if you're gonna go sweatshop, always buy Cambodian. Yeah. I mean, look at this design, my man. <laughs> this shirt's made by the finest hats. <laughs> Just turns out it was a uh, Asian miner's tiny hats. <laughs> but back to your confliction. <laughs> See, even your name can't be said with conviction. See, who Og holds in reverence is the Celtic god of eloquence. And he likes to think his cross scribbles ink with pure elegance. But a sentence of an entrance on the internet gave me evidence that the sentiment has no relevance because the reference is irrelevant. Yeah. Now let me explain. See, I don't mean to question your intelligence, but Ogmios wasn't a god who stood for spiritual betterment. He seduced men to malevolence. A beast that persuaded men to pain instead of peace and would handcuff a man up to the chains between his teeth. But look at this, Ogmios, yo. He's so chilled he can't even be bothered to flow. He's so chilled on birthday candles he doesn't bother to blow. He's so chilled his hair doesn't even bother to grow. But enough about you. Let's talk about me. See ladies on the phone when they taste my gorgonzola. And since a piccolo bambino tries to pick my pecorino, I'll take a spicy chicken who's my dairy just a sooner. Cause when your baby bells, I'll give it to her gouda. <laughs> Cheese bars, baby. <laughs> I've got a block to squeeze. See, Dan White, the Beretta's in my left. Wait, what did I just say? I said I've got a block of cheese. The E-Dam's right and the cheddar in my left. <laughs> <laughs> See, 
see if I ain't got the Ferrero, I'll pull out the boss, son. Wait, what did I just say? I said if I ain't got no fetter, I'll pull out the boss, son. <laughs> see, I pull out a steel ton and watch the cannon blur. Wait, what did I just say? I said I pull out the steel ton and got the camembert. <laughs> I won't make your shirt red unless the furies pass my eyes. Wait, what did I just say? I said I won't make the red Leicester unless the purees pass your eyes. I pull out the poor son, and I ain't talking breeze. Wait, what did I just say? I said I pull out the poor son, and I ain't talking breeze. <laughs> but fuck that. <laughs> when I make Og her, I want an homage to Frey. Wait, what did I just say? Don't make Yog her, I want the fromage Frey. <laughs> See, while you're doing Tai Chi, I fry cheese. On both sides, be lightly. Will it taste nice? Hmm, quite likely. <laughs> So you think you can guess what my next move might be? But bro, this ain't chess, spell it right. This is cheese! <laughs> Time. And his slice. <laughs> Bruh, mate, your brain's fucked. You need to shape up. Apparently, your madness is squarely irreversible. You're about three triangles short of a dairy league circle. <laughs> what do you keep going on about cheese for? You mentioned about 20 types. Now we're cheese board. <laughs> <laughs> I would put, a, would put a knife to those schemes, but I don't care how this joker feeds. You can go and munch on some roast beef or a crow's beak or go suckle on a goat's teeth. It just doesn't involve me. <laughs> it just doesn't involve me. And that's a snazzy shirt. Without that, you're just an average dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Bro. What's that say on your hat? Beast mode. You're gonna beast me, bro. You must beast though. <laughs> free flow. You should try it. I challenge you next round. Do a bit of free. Yo. <laughs> Yo, what's I saying about that cheesy shit? Well, come back to me on some Jesus shit. Praying for redemption, resurrection. Oh shit, let me go back and just say it again that sentence, because I said something about cheese. Then I lost my way. Jean go free. What the fuck am I gonna say? <laughs> but bruv, listen. I know you, Chris. You weren't like this before. It's like he's developed a twitch and a broken jaw. Jean go free. Gets all the girls to go eight till they find out that's not your name. And you've got no change. You probably no front safe, so they just go away. Jean go free. How you gonna be macking the ladies? Coming straight out the eighties. Practicing your tactics daily, watching Patrick Swayze. <laughs> He'd be dirty dancing like, catch this baby. <laughs> it's a bit eighty with a dash of the rabies. <laughs> Bruv, your whole manner is rapey. <laughs> <laughs> you're batshit crazy. 
You ain't getting digits and engagements. You're just getting victim statements. You're less Patrick Swayze, more Patrick Bateman. Mm. If he says he's a lady killer, he's got shackles in his basement. Mm. Have you ever got laid when it was actually consensual? <laughs> Bro, if I'm laid back, I'll keep it tantric and sensual. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I've got what you lack, they're attracted to the mental Women wanna fuck my brains out, they're sapiosexual <laughs> Oh, me, us, baby <laughs> Do your shit yeah. You know what? Enough about cheese <laughs> Let's talk about me. See, I was always this cool from the littlest stage. Soon as I stepped out the womb, I was like, give me some shade. The nurse had never seen a baby with a dick this big before. She's about to give her the chop, but I said, bitch, you better stop. This is not the umbilical cord. The nurse wanted my body when I gave her fingers a snap, and it was easy as that. She saw me wink out the flaps and was like, Jesus, a man. See, I didn't have to wait till a crisis of midlife. The first threesome I had was when me and my dad were double teaming that premium midwife. And ever since I've been breastfed, I've been living it large. I was like, thumbs down on the tees and lit a cigar. But then Ogmios was born. But not delivered by hands, one body, one head. But more like Alakazam, and he was locked in cross legs. People were amazed at how we came up from inside her. But he just turned to them and said, Easy, blood, I just levitated out of her vagina. <laughs> this mystical being, they can't believe they discovered. They prepared his first meal and his supper from the teat of his mother. But before they began feeding this bundle of joy, he said, Oh, sorry, I'm vegan. Have you got any soy? <laughs> Let's take us forward to high school. See, while you were 12 in the classroom lighting incense sticks, making bracelets as friendship gifts, I was 12 in the gym with the popular chicks, showing the PE teacher how to properly lift. <laughs> See, nowadays I'm in clubs getting lean going mental, while you're at your mum's eating quinoa and lentils. <laughs> See, while I'm in the club getting chicks, because I'm kind of hench, you're at home alone playing chess, so porn is your first line of defense. Oh. See, while I'm leading a girl to my mattress, I think that's pretty funny. You're teaching a girl about chakras. Fact is, even once you finish, mate, she still won't care what that is. See, I spend bread, because I ain't needing some dough. The only time you're making bread is when you're needing some dough. See, I've got the swagger of the rock. You've got the swagger of a rock. Oh. What do you think of that one? It doesn't matter what you think of that one. <laughs> anyway, because you're a druid that loves Stonehenge. But I'll just suplex you through it because I'm so hench. See, I'm a Mesolithic bipedal with megalithic biceps and monolithic boulders on my shoulders to flex my two terrific triceps. So don't come with your moist bars or I'll have to destroy fast. Hit you with a German suplex that will leave you with a Deutsch mark. I'll make him take a tumble and fuck being humble. The king of cheese is hungry, I call that the Royal Rumble. Ha! Time. Yeah. Yo. Man, it must annoy you. How you can't penetrate my bars. I'm black man, will annoy you. Shit. And you know that I avoid you in your backyard because I know you're half Deutsch. I know you're half Deutsch, but I don't want to laugh and point. It's just because I can't avoid the Schadenfreude. <laughs> so how are you going to be trying to mock me as some mystical guy? It just exposes your ignorant side because I'm on a different vibe. Of me as Ivan, I and I unifully unified. So why would I choose spiritual advice from someone whose persona is superficial and trite? Mm. You shouldn't diss it till you try it. In fact, I know little Chris inside you would like it, but his alter ego is pissing me off. You just use mirrors and props, levers and cops, delivery over the top to get a bigger image across like the Wizard of Oz. Mm. But if I whip back the cloth, 
The real you will crawl out all withered and lost. See, I am the boss. There's no division in my fabric. This is the og. And you know that's how I stay. Because I met you before on holiday. Johnny Jake. He had a ping pong table. You wanted to play. I said, hey, champ, slow down. I'm pretty tough. He said, me too. What happened? I crushed you! <laughs> when you finished crying, we talked it over and we were friends. But it's pissing me off that now I have to kill you all over again. So fine, let's get it over with then. Yo, Tang, give me the tin. Remember this? <laughs> Your nemesis. <laughs> Extension of my fist. Terror hits. Never miss. Effortless. Whether it's semi western grip or pen hold flips. It's set 11 zip, 11 zip, 11 zip. Three sets, I always get the best of it. Shit. <laughs> Keep your eye on this, bro. <laughs> Watch my silky toes. I got mad skills, yo. <laughs> my spit is cold. Watch you come back, yes. <laughs> So bold. I believe I play like Timo Bow. <laughs> Fuck you and your German wrong references. <laughs> Tish tennis. Okay, we're in Germany, I believe, bro. Tish tennis, I like you. I could put you in a hype. Fuck that! You see how shit gets deep in the battle? Now you're up shit creek without a paddle. <laughs> but I ain't all bad, bro. Yo, Tam, bro, give me the other team. <laughs> yeah, the shit one. <laughs> Pick it up. <laughs> Bonehead! Never bow down to your opponent! Fuck, toss the bat. We could do hand to hand combat. It's like watching on back on crack! You think you're a big man, don't ya? Don't ya? Move to me, that would be a faux pas. Because this man knows the Bikram yoga. <laughs> Twist your hip back to your shoulder. To get out of that, you need a jack and a crowbar. <laughs> then I'll fix you when I fix that cobra. I'll put this man in a coma when it's all black like men. To fuck that shit! <laughs> Any pose will kill this pose. I'm the composer. Hold up, let me get my composure. <laughs> <laughs> What do you know about teaching chess twice a week for a strategic mind? <laughs> this ain't no easy, right? What do you know about picking up teams to make even sides? <laughs>